It's noon, it's afternoon. Okay. Do I have microphone? Hello and welcome to my session, Global in My Backyard. Thank you all so much for coming. And today I hope to share with you my reflections about Global in My Backyard. My name is Trisha Roy, and I grew up in a city where we did not, did not have backyards. I grew up in what was called the City of Joy by a French writer named Dominique Lapierre in a book she wrote in 1985. And the city that was forever imprinted on the global map by Mother Teresa because she made it her world headquarters. I was blessed enough to have volunteered in her orphanage in my teens and to have sat at her feet as a young adult. But I did not know or understand her impact till after she passed away and I came to the United States to get my second master's degree and learn about her global impact. I grew up in a concrete jungle where a backyard was only a dream that my mother had. Her dream also contained lawn chairs, tea served in cups of fragile bone china, so delicate that you could see the tea through the cup. In 2015, I was able to make this dream come true for her when she visited me. I had the lawn chairs and the cups I set for her from a tea set I bought from India. I ran my friends ragged in India, trying to find the exact right type of cups my mother would like. 2015 was also the last time I saw my mother in person. I share this with you not to share sadness, but because my mother has to be with me in this amazing moment of my life when I present to an audience like the National Association of Realtors. Because she believed I can do anything I, can, I set my mind to. She is the fire behind my wings every time I take leaps of faith. So she must be here today with me because she is here. And I hope you will indulge me for her mention. Without her faith in me, I would not have been able to take the leap of faith to be a realtor. And back to an international realtor. I'm a woman in a world still dominated by men. I'm a woman, I'm a minority woman and an immigrant in the Western world. But as I stand before you, my roots lie strong within me. And so I shall always be an international realtor. As I embrace my adopted mother, my USA, the lessons, the culture, and the roots of my birth mother remain strong in me. How many of you come from cities where you do not necessarily have a backyard? Is there anybody who comes from a big city so large that you do not necessarily have a backyard? Anybody? Where do you come from? Mexico. Mexico, okay. Just like India, many parts of India, where we do not have backyards. <laughs> the ladies, <laughs> welcome. I know that some of you in this humongous country do come from cities without a backyard. But it is in this amazing country that I discovered the backyard. The backyard is where friendships are made. The backyard is where you exchange a cup of sugar when you run out. The backyard is where you tell your neighbor that your dog ran away. And that's why you're running around like a demented person. <laughs> and then, help you find your dog. But here in the Sunshine State, our backyards have changed subtly. And I'm pretty sure ours is not a unique story. Because of the openness of the policies of the United States of America, in the last couple of years and beyond, 